Welcome to Literature Podcast with Susan. Please subscribe for more literature reviews. Welcome to the Literature Podcast. I'm your host, Susan, and today we're delving into the hauntingly beautiful world of Hamnet by Maggie O'Farrell. This novel, a vivid reimagining of the life of William Shakespeare's son, weaves a tale of family, loss, and the indelible impact of a child's death on his family and, ultimately, on the world. Hamnet's is set in the late 16th century in Stratford, upon Avon. But this is not just a historical narrative. It's a deeply emotional exploration of the bond between a mother and her child and the ripple effects of grief. The story unfolds through the perspective of Agnes, Shakespeare's enigmatic wife, whose original and insightful character O'Farrell brings to life with rich detail and depth. The novel opens with young Hamnet searching frantically for help for his twin sister Judith, who has suddenly fallen ill. This opening scene sets the tone for a story that is as much about the urgency and fragility of life as it is about the quieter, enduring currents of love and loss that run beneath the surface of a family's life. O'Farrell's narrative is not linear. It weaves back and forth in time, uncovering the layers of Agnes and Shakespeare's relationship, their family life, and the societal constraints of the time. The historical backdrop is vividly rendered, immersing the reader in the sights, sounds, and textures of Elizabethan England. Yet the heart of the story is timeless and universal. The love of a parent for a child, the profound impact of loss, and the ways in which we seek to find meaning in the aftermath of tragedy. The character of Agnes is particularly compelling. O'Farrell paints her as a woman of unusual talents and insights, deeply connected to the natural world and possessing healing skills that set her apart. Her relationship with her husband is complex and full of unspoken depths, and her experience of motherhood, with its joys, fears, and profound grief, is rendered with striking emotional intensity. Hamnet, while a work of fiction, is grounded in historical fact. The death of Shakespeare's only son, Hamnet, at the age of 11, is a historical record. However, O'Farrell takes this fact and weaves around it a narrative of rich imagination and emotional truth. The novel contemplates the shadows this loss casts on the family, the unspoken sorrows, and the ways in which this personal tragedy may have echoed in the plays that Shakespeare was to write. As we navigate through Hamnet, we will explore the interplay between personal loss and artistic creation, the depths of parental love, and the quiet yet profound ways in which individual lives can shape and resonate through time. Join me, Susan, in our next segment as we continue our journey through the poignant and beautifully crafted world of Hamnets by Maggie O'Farrell. Stay tuned as we delve deeper into the heart of this moving story, exploring the themes of love, loss, and the indelible imprints they leave on the tapestry of human experience. As we delve deeper into Maggie O'Farrell's Hamnet, the narrative continues to unfold with a poignant and intricate examination of grief, family dynamics, and the subtle connections between personal tragedy and creative expression. The novel's heart lies in its exploration of Agnes's character. O'Farrell portrays her as a woman of intuition and depth, connected to nature and possessing an almost ethereal understanding of the world around her. This connection is juxtaposed against the backdrop of a society bound by strict social norms and expectations, particularly for women. Agnes stands out as an unconventional figure in her community, a trait that both isolates and empowers her. O'Farrell's portrayal of Agnes's relationship with her husband unnamed in the novel but known to be William Shakespeare, is deeply nuanced. Their marriage is depicted as a blend of mutual respect, love, and an unspoken understanding of each other's quirks and talents. However, the narrative also hints at the distances that grow between them, particularly as Shakespeare's career takes him away from Stratford to London. The impact of Hamnet's death on the family is the novel's core. 
O'Farrell vividly captures the all-encompassing nature of grief and its ability to transform every aspect of life. The loss permeates each page, affecting each family member differently. For Agnes, it's a profound, almost unbearable change that shifts her perception of the world. The novel delves into her inner world, exploring how her deep connection with her son continues to manifest even after his death. The historical setting of Hamnet's adds a rich layer to the narrative, bringing to life the realities of the Elizabethan era, its superstitions, its medical practices, and its day-day domesticities. O'Farrell's meticulous research into the period lends authenticity to the story, yet the historical details never overpower the deeply personal nature of the narrative. As we continue through the novel, O'Farrell subtly weaves in the potential influence of Hamlet's death on Shakespeare's work, particularly the play Hamlet. The novel contemplates the idea that personal loss can be a wellspring for artistic creation. It invites the reader to consider how the depth of a writer's emotion can find its way into their work, transforming personal grief into something universal. As we reach the conclusion of Maggie O'Farrell's Hamnet, the narrative culminates in a deeply moving exploration of the enduring impact of loss and the transformative power of grief. In the final chapters, O'Farrell masterfully brings together the threads of her narrative, offering a profound insight into the ways in which the death of Hamnet reverberates through his family. Agnes, grappling with an almost unbearable grief, emerges as a figure of immense strength and resilience. Her journey through loss is portrayed with a raw honesty that speaks to the heart of the human experience. The novel captures the all-consuming nature of her sorrow, yet also her gradual, poignant journey towards acceptance and healing. The connection between Hamnet's death and Shakespeare's creation of Hamlet is elegantly and subtly drawn. O'Farrell does not present this link as a straightforward cause and effect, but rather as a nuanced reflection on how personal experiences can seep into an artist's work. The novel suggests that in the act of creation, Shakespeare was perhaps able to explore and process his own unspoken grief. This contemplation adds a layer of depth to our understanding of one of the most famous plays in history, inviting us to see it as not just a work of fiction, but as a father's tribute to his lost son. Hamnet is a novel that transcends its historical setting, touching on themes that are timeless and universal. It speaks to the fragility of life, the complexities of family relationships, and the profound impact that one life, however brief, can have. O'Farrell's portrayal of the Shakespeare family is intimate and vivid, bringing to life a world that feels both distant and incredibly near. As the story draws to a close, the reader is left with a sense of the redemptive power of love and art. O'Farrell shows us that even in the depths of despair, there is the potential for beauty and transformation. The novel is a testament to the ability of the human spirit to find meaning and solace in the wake of tragedy. In conclusion, Hamnet is a beautifully crafted, emotionally rich novel that offers a unique window into the lives of a famous family, while also speaking to broader truths about the human condition. Maggie O'Farrell has created a work that is both a moving tribute to a lost child and a profound meditation on the nature of creativity, love, and loss. Thank you for joining me on this exploration of Hamnet. This novel, with its exquisite prose and deep emotional resonance, is a powerful reminder of the stories that history leaves untold and the hidden depths behind the faces we think we know. Join me, Susan, next time on the Literature Podcast as we delve into another enriching and thought-provoking journey through the world of books. Until then, happy reading, and may the stories you find bring you insight, empathy, and inspiration. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and see you in next episodes.